Look, this isn't about LCAP. This isn't about free soloing or doing the absolute sickest or most nauseating thing you've ever heard of. This is about crimping. This is about weighted pull-ups. This is about the ab wheel. This is about some simple down-to-earth training time, trying to get strong, do our projects. Dear Journal. Today, I felt like a weak pile of goo. Okay, yeah, so the guy did free solo L cap. It's super cool. He's even on side at 13 plus and he's like climbed solid 514. The dude's a boss, but have you seen him crimp? He crimps like a kitten. I've never felt like I'm secret stain because secret stain would mean just like cranking your way up some gently overhanging wall of small crimps and small pockets. And I've never in my life been like, oh, my fingers are so strong. I just feel so great. When I got home from Antarctica, I had several experiences where I felt as weak as a kitten. Like I threw to a hold, I lashed the hold, I rolled it into a cramp, and I was like, oh, I'm holding it, and then my hand just opened and I fell off. And I was like, what happened to my hand? I'm not that great at cave climbing, and there's no bad holds, which is kind of my jam. Jonathan has better finger strength, he's better at crimping than probably anybody, but, you know, his biceps are, like, they could use a little work. Tighten your, like, bring your hip up. You know, yeah, that's hard, dude. I don't know. I'm like not strong. I'm weak as fuck, dude. I think for Alex, historically training has meant just going out and climbing a ton. I've seen him do like his little ab workouts and you know, he talks about hangboarding a lot, but I've never really seen it. Nice. Pull your elbows together a little bit more if you can. The reason I really trust Jonathan for training is because and I've seen his personal transformation as he shifted the way that he trained from spending the whole season to send one 14 plus to now sending you know, 10 or 15, 14 plus or 15 A's in a year, no problem. Obviously his training has worked and he is much, much stronger than he was five years ago. I think that maybe the biggest challenge with going into a training cycle like this is fully committing to it and believing that it's worth it. The list I gave him for my goals for the winter were Necessary Evil, Atonement, which is next to it, Lethal Design, which is a hard bowler problem. They're all crimping. It's a very straightforward thing to train. And so here we are, now we're training crimping. One of your fingers just like, <laughs> boing, like went straight and you like stared at it and you were like, ah. <laughs> It's really important that you have the exact same form every time. And yeah, pretty much do it as many times as you can. Almost perfect. Can you do one more or you're done? <laughs> okay, sick. That's perfect. <laughs> that really makes you feel pathetic. <laughs> the BRG is one of the most particular sport crags in the country. It's a north-facing wall above a highway. It's super loud. The BRG is everything heinous about 90s climbing. <laughs> It's either too cold or too hot or too humid or too slippery, you know? You're just like, oh, it's so cold. I'm like shaking and all I hear is big rigs and I'm scared. He's wanted to be like a 9A climber so that 13A will feel real easy. So he knows he won't fall on it when he free soloed El Cap. I mean, all my goals for the season are sport routes and I'm like, I don't really care that much about sport routes anyway. That's it, perfect, dude. The hardest move for me on atonement was at the very bottom. I mean, literally six feet off the ground. Anyone else I saw try the route just cruised right through it like it was like filler climbing for everybody else. Atonement is basically 25 moves of crimping right off the ground. The first six or eight moves are the hardest and then it's sort of just a lot more crimping. <laughs> I just have these little glimpses where I'm like, God, my arm is so burly. Yeah, not kitten arms, definitely panther arms. I really tried to imprint into his brain this whole concept of intensity over volume because I know that that's what it's gonna take for him to climb his best sport route. Ascent. 
It's pretty satisfying. I felt surprisingly good. I'm like, oh, obviously I feel a bit stronger, I guess. Or that's really soft. So that's pretty rad. More than anything, I really just think it's the beginning for him. I mean, it's funny because even sending a tone there, I fell off my warm ups and just be like, how do I feel? Yeah, yeah. Jonathan is a character. Jonathan probably knows more about the science of what makes you strong than anybody. I mean, it's why he's so good. You know, he's like eating a dinner of sauerkraut, two spoonfuls of peanut butter, three pieces of dark chocolate. But when he's serious about sending hard roots, I mean, he, he takes it seriously. It's karate chopping ninja kicking ninja. Does that inspire you for these karate chops on this? Yeah, it does. It just gets me fired up for like doing ninja moves on the upside down in the wall, you know? The rock in this cave is like bone white. Perhaps part of the reason for the name Bone Tomahawk. This route is not my cup of tea exactly. Yeah, I had slack to it to clip, and then I fucking pulled this thing off, so I did like a straight back ass. Jonathan root climbing? I mean, he's kind of a slab climber. That's all I've really seen. None of the holds really require much finger strength necessarily. I felt like in the end, it really felt like it was bicep endurance, especially my right bicep. My left one's still very small. It was never clear that I was gonna do the route like imminently. For me, most of the time, I just kind of tie in and give it hell. I just had that one extra ounce of right bicep power for that one move I was falling on over and over again. And, uh, but yeah, I was very psyched. I was very psyched. If I had one tip for everybody, it would just be to try and diversify your climbing as much as you can. Do the slab boulders, do the steep boulders, do the VRG roots, do the fin cave roots. Try and do it all because you can get a lot of value and a lot of added strength out of just kind of switching up the style. I mean, obviously his biceps must be getting a little better because he just freaking sent Jumbo Love. Yeah, Alex definitely feels pretty strong these days. He says he's beasting the bolt ladders because of his weighted, like, pull-up workouts with Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs>